Today we're going to be cooking Papa Ili Shoshe, or in English, steamed hilsa fish with mustard. In this example of Papa Ili Shoshe, we've preserved the original recipe, but we've steamed the fish in a pressure cooker instead of in a pan over a direct flame. There are lots of ways to prepare Ili Shmach, or hilsa, but Bengalis have found that steaming the fish in its gravy enhances its delicate flavor and produces a pleasant mouthfeel. For this preparation of Papa Ili Shoshe, or steamed tilsa fish and mustard, we will need five to six pieces of scaled, cleaned, and sliced tilsa fish, two tablespoons of mustard oil, one teaspoon of turmeric, six green chilies, three tablespoons of whole black mustard seed, four tablespoons of yogurt, and salt to taste. There are three basic steps. In step one, the mustard seed will be ground with salt, green chili, and yogurt to create the marinade. In the second step, we marinate the fish. And finally, in the third step, we will steam it in a pressure cooker. To make the marinade, put the black mustard seed in a blender. Add salt. Then blend the mixture. Add two green chilies, blend again, transfer the mustard powder into a bowl. Add the turmeric powder. The four tablespoons of yogurt. And mix those well together. Then add two tablespoons of mustard oil. Mix again. Use two to four tablespoons of water to dilute the thick sauce. And then mix once more to create a uniform marinade. Arrange the fish pieces in the steel containers, such as the ones used here. Pour the marinade over the fish. Then spread evenly. Make sure to add a lot of the marinade to create the gravy. and add four green chilies on top. During the steaming process, the spice from the green chilies will be infused into the fish. Put one cup of water inside the pressure cooker. Place the two compartments inside of the pressure cooker. Make sure that the rim of the bottom container is above the water level, and then close the pressure cooker. Turn on the stove, and after the steam first starts to hiss, continue heating for about five more minutes. 
then turn the heat off and allow to cool a bit. Release the pressure and make sure to open the pressure cooker very carefully because it's probably still very hot. Using a kitchen mitt, open the compartments. and stick a fork inside the fish to see if the fork passes through easily. If it does, you're done. It serves two people. This dish is usually served hot with steamed white rice.